क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends in today's session we are going to study about the types of polymerization there are different types in which polymers are being formed so here we'll see the different processes and the different monomers which are being used to make those particular polymers in this session types of polymerization polymerization are based on the following classification the first one is known as addition or chain polymerization the second one is known as copolymerization and the third one is known as condensation or step polymerization let us start with the first one which is also known as addition polymerization or chain polymerization the word chain indicates elongation of a carbon skeleton to form a polymer that means if i have one carbon i will attach another carbon to it the third carbon to it the fourth carbon to it that means i am just elongating a chain over here i am just attaching carbons to it that means i am adding more and more amount of carbons to it and forming a chain out of it and thus the name addition or chain polymerization we are adding the carbons to form chains generally such polymerization involves c double bond c link in the monomer now why do we need this c double bond c link so that we can break the pi bond out of it so whenever i have a carbon i have another carbon with it and it is attached by two bonds the bond which is below is known as sigma bond and it is a strong bond the bond which is above is known as a pi bond and it is a weak bond in fact it's not even a bond it's just a cloud of electrons and that is the reason why it is very easy to break this bond now once this bond is broken this carbon will get its bond back and this carbon will also get its bond back if this carbon is getting its bond back it will it will have a active side or reactive position over here if this carbon is getting its bond back then over here this carbon will also have an active side or a reactive position over here with this bond we can attach more carbons to it over here with the help of this bond we can attach more carbons to it that means out of two carbons now i am having four carbons out of these four then i can have six then i can have eight ten twelve and so on that means from two carbons i am actually adding more carbons to it and making a chain out of those carbons and thus this polymerization is known as addition polymerization or chain polymerization because we are adding carbons to form a chain out of it the double bond breaks and as a result two single bonds on either sides of the carbon are formed and thereby elongation of carbon chain continues now this entire process is divided into steps so the polymerization process involves three steps and the first one is initiation step the second one is propagation or branching step and the third one is the termination step what do we mean by the initiation step so over here let us consider this carbon with another carbon over here and both these carbons are bonded with two bonds over here the first bond being the sigma bond which is the strong bond the second bond being the pi bond which is the weak bond and then this pi bond is getting broken once this pi bond breaks this carbon will become c single bond c and this carbon will have a bond with it and this carbon will also have a bond with it this step is nothing but my initiation step the second step over here is the propagation step also known as the branching step that means once the process is initialized now we'll have to propagate it now we'll have to make a chain out of it that means many such double bonds will be broken into single bonds and many such will be attached to each other this is known as the propagation or the branching the last is termination now what happens over here the c double bond c actually also had hydrogens with it that means this entire chain will also have hydrogens over here every carbon will have certain amount of hydrogens generally there are two because carbon has four valency four bonds out of those four bonds two are already given to two other carbons and then the two which are remaining will go to hydrogen and form a ch2 bond over here because it is forming a ch2 bond over here what exactly happens is at certain time a carbon with a bond instead of attaching to a carbon with another bond it gets attached to a hydrogen over here and over here also this carbon gets attached to a hydrogen that means this was forming a chain 
over even this was forming a chain and when both these chains were going to get joined together hydrogen came in the middle and this got attached to an hydrogen this also got attached to an hydrogen and finally the propagation step stopped and it went to termination point wherein the chains can no more be formed because these bonds are formed and there will be no chaining or linking between both of these the next process over here is known as copolymerization copolymerization is a very interesting process and it is one of the most important polymerization process copolymerization process is actually like addition polymerization process but with a little twist in it what is the twist it is that normal elements or normal atoms come together to form a molecule these molecules come together to form a macromolecule that means polymerization is happening at a molecular level right now right now we are not even thinking of mixing the monomers to make a polymer right now we are just making a monomer and in the process of making the monomer this monomer itself needs polymerization to be made finally once the monomers are made these complex monomers with high molecular value and good density will come together and form polymers that means monomers combine together to form polymers but there is polymerization process taking or combining of atoms process taking at the monomer level itself it resembles very closely to the addition polymerization in addition polymerization if two monomers combine to form a product which in turn acts as a monomer this method is known as copolymerization that means monomers in turn will act as a polymers and these monomers will combine to form polymers the third process we have over here is known as condensation or step polymerization process now what do we mean by condensation process or step polymerization process if i have a monomer over here and another monomer over here and both these monomers have to link together to form a polymer but this linkage is not possible because there are certain elements or certain atoms over here which are blocking the linkage and that is the reason why we'll have to remove the atoms from this n and this n make sure that they become a condensed form a byproduct of it and then both of these combine together and form a link the monomers having certain functional groups such as oh cooh nh2 etc show a tendency to undergo polymerization by the elimination of one molecule of a simple product such as h2o hcl salt etc so because of this because of the elimination of these functional groups we will first eliminate the functional group and then there will be linking between them linkage takes place and this linkage then forms polymers so we are in today's session we studied about polymerization and the different types of polymerization there are three main types of polymerization the first one is addition polymerization the second one is copolymerization and the third one is condensation polymerization all the three are different techniques and different methods to make polymers thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned to ikira and subscribe to ikira